The NBA playoffs are finally here, and I think everyone is super excited to watch this year for a couple of different reasons. One, will the Warriors three-peat? That's the question. And two, it's not just the Warriors playing LeBron James in the finals again. I think that this is going to be a great playoffs to watch. Let me go ahead and say that. Yes, it's tough with my Grizzlies not being in it. I get it. You know, tough year, rebounding. We got a lot of young talent coming up, I think. We'll see what we get in the draft, but let's move on. So the first thing I want to ask, when you look at the first four seeds in the West, first four seeds in the East, who do you think is better? Who would you choose? You have the Warriors, Nuggets, Blazers, and Rockets in the West. And in the East, you have the Bucks, Raptors, 76ers, and Celtics. I think that I would take the East, and this is the first time in a long time that we can say that as well. Um, I think it's going to be a truly great playoffs to watch you even have the thunder sitting at a six seed that's going to be a sleeping team to watch um you know westbrook and paul george two gamers ballers you know what are they going to do how are they going to be competing another thing that i want to look at is the most underrated team in the playoffs i think that you have to go ahead and say that the pacers are the most underrated team they've been a four seed this whole season until the very end of the season um and, you know, they've done it all without their best player in Victor Oladipo. That is very impressive. That's something that we did not really expect when, when Victor Oladipo went out. Yes, I get it. The East is very weak when you look at the bottom with the Magic and, you know, the Nets, Pistons. They're all pretty terrible. Um, but at the top of that East, pretty stout competition. Another thing that I want to mention is players to watch, players that have to step up for their team to do well, and players that I think that will step up for their team to do well. The one player that I want to pinpoint is Chris Middleton. He's been an all-star the past two years. He's very underrated. His defense is very overlooked. I don't think that people really understand who the Greek Freak has on his team behind him. Um, Bledsoe is a gamer. Um, Chris Middleton, he's very good. He can shoot the lights out. I think Chris Middleton will be the key factor in seeing if the Bucks will find success this year and seeing how deep that they go in this playoff run. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about before I jump into the bracket, the best matchup to watch in this first round of the playoffs. Blazers playing the Thunder is going to be a very intriguing matchup. You know, you have Dame Lillard, CJ McCollum playing for the Blazers, and then you have Russell Westbrook, Paul George playing for the Thunder. Both teams are very hungry. You got to remember that the Blazers, they were a three seed last year and got plain embarrassed by the New Orleans Pelicans. They got swept. Pelicans aren't even in the playoffs this year. They want to perform at a high level this year. They don't want to get embarrassed for the second year in a row. Okay, so now let me go ahead and get into my bracket. I think this first round is pretty simple. Um, Warriors beat the Clippers. Rockets beat the Jazz. Blazers and Thunder, like I just mentioned, that's going to be a very great series. I think the Thunder win that series. Nuggets playing the Spurs, I think the Nuggets win that. Um, and then, you know, second round of the Western Conference, Warriors playing the Rockets. Last year, you know, the Warriors really struggled against the Rockets until Chris Paul got injured. Um, and I think that that'll be a very fun series to watch. Do I think the Rockets beat the Warriors? No. Um, Warriors win that series. Thunder playing the Nuggets. This is going to be another great series to watch. But I think that the Nuggets have, you know, really competed well this year. I do not think they'd beat the Thunder. Like I mentioned, they have too much talent. Russell Westbrook, Paul George, power them through. They both can score. They've just been playing outstanding. When you go play in Oklahoma City, that's just a tough place to play. Yes, I do understand that the Nuggets will have home court advantage. But I do think that the Thunder still won in Denver and then take care of business at home. Warriors playing the Thunder for the Western Conference Final. I just, I, I'm going to have to say the Warriors make it to the finals again. As much as I want someone else to win, Warriors are too good, too dominant. Warriors are in the finals again. Will they three-peat though? You're going to see what I think. Bucks playing the Pistons. Bucks all day long. Celtics playing the Pacers. This is going to be a good series. Um, the Pacers are going to surprise some people. I would not be surprised if the Pacers beat the Celtics in this series. It'll be fun to watch. Um, Celtics, they beat the Pacers. Okay, now we look at the 76ers and Nets. I have to slow down for a second. Give my guy D'Angelo Russell some respect. 
What he has been able to do with this Brooklyn Nets team has been pretty incredible. He's probably going to be the most improved player of the NBA this year. At least he is in my eyes. Um, good for him, especially after all the Lakers drama, um, the injury. I'm happy to see him do well. 76ers are too good, too dominant. 76ers win that series. And then we have the Raptors playing the Magic. This is not going to be a series. The Raptors win that. Second round of the East is going to be so fun to watch. With the Bucks playing the Celtics, I think the Celtics are very talented, but I don't think that they have the team chemistry that it takes in the NBA playoffs to advance. Um, and that's why I have the Bucks beating the Celtics. Again, people do not respect who Antetokounmpo has around him. Bledsoe, Middleton, I think that they're going to step up. Bledsoe's defense is very, very good, and people do not really respect what they have been able to do around the Greek Freak. 76ers Raptors. Again, I know I'm saying this a lot, but this is going to be a great series to watch. This whole playoffs is going to be a great playoffs to watch. Let me go ahead and mention that. I do think that the 76ers, the additions that they made in the season this year with uh, Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler, are going to stand out. And I think that's what's going to help them advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Bucks playing the 76ers in the Conference Final. I think that the Bucks are really going to take advantage of Ben Simmons not being able to shoot a jumper. I think that's something that he's going to have to definitely work on in the offseason. Um, and I think that he will. I think he'll be fine. He's a great player. The talent's there. He's remarkable. But I think the Bucks beat the 76ers to make it to the finals. And now we have the best two teams in the league. All year long, this is what we've you know sort of been expecting. Yes, the East has been crowded. The West has been you know somewhat crowded. But everyone knows that the Warriors are the best team in the West. Um, looking at this finals... I think that it's going to be fun to watch. The Bucks are going to have home court advantage, but I think that the Warriors three-peat. Yes, the Warriors three-peat. I don't want to say that, but I think that they do. This is going to be the last year that they are together. I've already mentioned that in the video. I think they're going to be hungry. They know KD is probably leaving. They know that DeMarcus Cousins is leaving. Will they sign Clay? You know, that's another question for the offseason. As much as it pains me to say, yes, I think the Warriors repeat the Warriors beat the Bucks in the finals and they are your 2019 champs Steph Curry I haven't mentioned him much true gamer one of the best shooters if not the best shooter of all time in the NBA Splash Brothers are gonna take control of this series and really you know impress some people with all that being said yes I do think the Warriors repeat they will be your 2019 NBA finals champions um, you know it pains me to say that but they're too good they're too deep this is the last year of it, I think, though, so let's not worry too bad. Let's just accept it, respect it, and move on. And guys, with all this being said, I do think it's going to be a playoffs to remember, a playoffs to watch, even though my beloved LeBron James is not in it. I think this is going to be so great for the NBA. Um, I hope that you all stay tuned, see what's going to happen. Let's see if the Warriors 3 repeat. That's the main question. Maybe they get upset by someone like the Rockets or the Thunder. Um, even the Nuggets have played them very well this year. And guys, that's it for me. Um, yes, please stay tuned. Subscribe like I mentioned earlier in the video. Like this video, please. Comment down below who you think is going to win the 2019 Finals. Um, you know, we'll see who's right, see who's wrong, have a little bragging right. Be looking out for my NBA Awards video to be coming out pretty shortly after this. Um, you know, I'll have my MVP, my Rookie of the Year. It'll all be there. I cannot wait to watch this NBA playoffs and see what happens. Thanks for watching.